The thionine is one of the essential amino acids that's needed for good health, but it can't be produced inside the body, so it has to be provided through our diet. One of the most important functions of methionine is its ability to be a supplier of sulphur and other compounds that are required by the body for normal metabolism and growth. Sulphur is a key element and is vital to our life. Without an adequate intake of the sulphur, our body isn't able to make and to utilise a number of antioxidant nutrients. Methionine is also a metal donor, capable of giving off a molecule that contains a single carbon and three tightly connected hydrogen atoms called a metal group and this is needed for a wide variety of chemical and metabolic reactions inside the body. Meat, fish and dairy products are all excellent sources of methionine. Vegetarians obtain their methionine from whole grains. Together with choline and inositol, methionine belongs to a group of compounds called lipotropics and these help the liver to process fat inside the body. Once in the liver, the methionine is converted into S-adenosylmethionine, or SAME. As much as 8 grams of SAME are produced in the liver each day when conditions are ideal. However, the amount produced in the body can be reduced significantly when the liver function is compromised. Methionine is a valuable nutritional compound that has multiple benefits for the body. In Europe, doctors have been using it with excellent results to treat depression, inflammation, liver diseases and certain muscle pains. Methionine is an especially important nutrient beneficial for those who are suffering from oestrogen dominance, where the amount of oestrogen in the body is excessively high when compared to its opposing hormone called progesterone. Similarly, those who are on oral contraceptives or oestrogen replacement therapy will find methionine to be helpful. Since oestrogen is cleared through the liver, an enhanced liver function can reduce the body's oestrogen load. Specifically, methionine converts the stronger and carcinogenic estradiol E2 into estriol E3, which is the good oestrogen. s methionine, the metabolite of methionine, has many good attributes. A daily dose of up to 1,600 mg has been used to fight hepatitis and cirrhosis. Another major application involves the alleviation of depression and a dose of 800 to 1,600 mg a day can help to elevate the mood and provide relief from those who are clinically depressed. Both methionine and s methionine have anti-inflammatory effects and they are therefore often used in combination to treat osteoarthritis. A daily dose of 5 grams of methionine has been linked to reduced lymph rigidity and Parkinson's disease. However, the use of s methionine has not been able to reproduce similar effects. The s methionine, however, has been able to help people with multiple sclerosis. The s methionine's anti-inflammatory properties have also been helpful with fibromyalgia when taken at 1 gram a day. In Britain, methionine, as well as s methionine, are frequently used in the treatment of chronic fatigue. Because methionine is an essential amino acid and our body is unable to produce it, we must get it from our diet. Most of us don't need to have methionine supplementation. However, strict vegetarians and anyone who follows a low-protein diet should consider methionine supplementation. Those with an MTHFR polymorphism may need methionine supplementation. Those who have a diet high in soy should also consider methionine, as soy is low in amino acids. During methionine supplementation, the intake of taurine, cysteine and other sulphur-containing amino acids, as well as B6 and folic acid, should also be included. Recommended doses range from 500mg to 4000mg per day in divided doses. To learn more about methionine, s methionine, to book a consultation or learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.